what's going on guys and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on this plugin called Epic Spleef. So it's not just Spleef but you can also play both Spleef, Spleg and Spleef Run. So it comes with all those cool game modes just with this one plugin. So there's also so many other features on it. You can allow your players to ride on animals like rabbit, pig, sheep, villagers and they can ride on those while fighting. There's a really cool scoreboard, there's titles, there's an inventory GUI and statistics and the shop. So all from an inventory GUI and there's also a cool low gravity mode as if you were on the moon so that's pretty cool and there's rewards spectating mode and there's a lot of other cool features but this plugin is probably the best belief plugin out there so if you want to set this up for your server it's pretty simple I'm going to show you how to do it so what you want to do is you just want to download this plugin drop it in your plugins folder and restart your server and the other plugin that you're going to need you're going to also want to get world edit so download that plugin also drop in your plugins folder and restart your server if you don't have that already all right guys so the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to hop on your server and just create a little spleef arena so this is my arena here i'm just going to do the normal game mode for this tutorial but if you guys if we get enough comments like if people want me to actually do the other game modes like spleef run or spleg or bow spleef then i'll help you guys set that up because it does require some different things like for the normal one you can have like a minimum of one floor like how I have here but for some of the other game modes you're gonna want to have more than one floor so I can help you guys set that up if you want me to do a tutorial on that but for this game mode, I'm just gonna do the normal game mode the normal spleef with the shovel and they can you know right click and stuff like that but anyways yeah that's my arena there's my lobby you're gonna want to create a lobby and uh, they can kind of see the game from here but it just depends if you can have it closed you don't have to have them see the game from there you can have a location for spectators for a place for spectators and for me that can be right here they can spectate the game after they die and the last thing that you're gonna want to do is you're gonna create a main lobby so I'm about to create one right now alright so there's my main lobby and what the main lobby is it's just a lobby where players can easily walk into it there's a bunch of join signs on the wall and they can choose which every game mode whichever game lobby they want to join from so it's just for every single like a little lobby for every single game and all the join signs all right so yeah once you're ready we're gonna go ahead and get started with this thing so what we're gonna have to do now is we're gonna there first create our arena so we can type the command slash spleef create and then type the name of our arena that we want to call it so I'm just gonna call mine spleef I don't know yeah spleef works and just hit enter so now it's going to tell us the next thing that we have to do, but that isn't really helpful, so I'm going to help you guys out with this one, and it's actually leaving out a couple of commands that we'll have to do. So the first thing that we want to do next is, this is where world edit can come in handy. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to add blocks to our arena. So these are the blocks that the players can actually destroy. And so with world edit, we can select the whole floor and add those blocks to be able to be destroyed, or we can stand on top of a block and add that single block, or we can stand and look at a block and add those blocks we're looking at. So it's either one of those three options, but I'm going to go with the easiest one, which is the world edit. So if you want to use world edit, which is super easy, you just type slash slash wand. Now get your wand tool out. Now we're going to select two corners diagonally across from each other. So not the top and top, but diagonally across to so the top and the bottom. So select those two corners. There we go. So sorry about that. And then that was a left click. And then we just right click to select our second corner. Now we have two corners diagonally set like that. And then the next thing we can do is type slash spleef. And keep in mind that the blocks you add can be whatever you want it to be. So it doesn't have to be snow. It can be sand, stone brick, anything like that. So we're going to type them in slash spleef add blocks our arena name so I called mine spleef and then world edit and after that just hit enter now I've already typed this command in once so it's not gonna add any blocks for me but for you guys it should add a lot of blocks so yeah we've pretty much done that and if you have multiple floors so if you're doing this for another game mode you have multiple floors you can just select your next floor and do the same command in and yeah you can basically just do this for any other blocks that you want your players to be able to destroy so that is that now the next thing that we want to do is we want to set the spawn location, so where the players spawn at. So type slash spleef, add spawn loc loc, and then our arena name. So spleef, then there we go. We can just keep typing that same command in for all the different spots that we want to set. So I'm just going to add six, that's four, five, and six. There we go now we're done with that now the next thing that we want to do is we want to set the lobby location so this is the waiting lobby after the click to join sign they'll be sent here and they have to wait for other players to join so this is a good spot so we can type slash spleef lobby 
space question mark and that will bring up the two commands that we have to use so first we're gonna have to create the lobby and give it a name then we're gonna have to actually add the spawn location of it so the spawn point of it so type slash spleef lobby create lobby and then give this lobby a name so i'm just gonna call mine the spleef lobby and hit enter so there we go now we have to add some locations and because my arena holds six, I'm gonna have to add six lobby spawn locations. So, this is a long command right here. So the command is slash leaf lobby add spawn loc, and then the name of our uh, lobby, yeah. And hit enter. So yeah, those same commands for the amount of spawn points that we set down there. So I set six down there, we're gonna set six up here too inside of our lobby. So the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna type the command slash spleef flags and this will list a bunch of stuff that will help us set the settings for this arena so whether you want them to have a custom inventory which is automatically set to false so if you want it untrue then what you have to do is you have to do slash spleef set value our arena name and then the name of the flag so custom inventory enabled and then true or false so that is how you set the flags um, I'm going to look for one that I actually want to set. So if you want freeze players on, you can set that for your arena. If you want to modify the gravity, so if you want them to have like a different amount of gravity, it's like the moon's gravity, which is really cool, uh, you can change that here. And I'm actually, eh, yeah, I'm going to change that. I'm going to see what it's like. So spleef set value the arena name, spleef modify gravity, because first we have to change that to true. And then true, yeah. And then there we go. So now I'm going to change this flag. And I'm going to change it to gravity so we can actually set what kind of gravity we want. So I don't really know like how the numbers work for this. But since the default is 0.5, I would think lower would make you jump lower and then higher would make you jump higher. So I'm going to set it to 2. I don't know how high that is. But we're just going to test that. And I typed in 2, but I guess you have to do 0 to 1. So I'm going to go with 0.9. I don't know. This is a guess. I'll let you guys know how the numbers work in the video. But yeah, that's that. And then here's where we're going to type the game mode. So if we want it normal, like actual spleef, whether we want both spleef, spleg, and then the other one is spleef run, which is pretty much TNT run. Then we can change that. So slash spleef, set value, the arena name and then mode and normal so you guys can change the name both spleef, spleef run or splag so there we go now it's normal and we're going to set the minimum amount of players so I'm going to do the same command I'm going to change this flag to min players I'm going to change that to and we're going to go with uh, I'm just going to keep it as two required players to start countdown I already like it as two, so I'm going to keep that. Reward money, spectating location. So yeah, I'm going to set that now. And then the vehicle. So that's whether you want your players to actually be able to use animals and be able to ride on them while fighting. So that's a pretty cool feature there. You guys can set that. And uh, oh, this is not the place. So here's where I want the spectator location to be at. I'm going to type the same command in, except I'm going to change the flag name to spectate location and just hit enter so there we go we set the spectate location and where it says spectate type you can set it to normal where they can walk around normal flying where they can fly around until the game's over and uh, game mode 3 so you guys can set that and yeah that's pretty much it now the last thing that we have to do is we have to set the join sign so to set our join sign we're gonna have to go to our main lobby where all the join signs will be at you're gonna need a sign you're going to have to place it down where you want it to be and just hit done. So it's a blank sign and now we're going to type a command in. So just make sure you're looking at the sign and it's highlighted and type the command slash spleef, add join sign, and then the arena name. Bam. There we go. Super easy, super simple. And as you guys can see, the maximum amount of players is the maximum amount of spawn points that we set. And now the very last thing that we have to do is we have to enable the arena. So just type slash spleef, set value the arena name so spleef because that's my arena name and then and then here's where we're gonna type the flag name the flag name is called enabled 
and then true enter there we go now our arena is enabled we can click to join this we're sent to the arena so now i'm going to show you guys how this actually the gameplay actually works as you can see i got the shovel everything is looking great the scoreboard is there this is an awesome plugin so if it helped you out make sure to drop a like subscribe for more and i'll see you guys next time peace out